Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today I wanted to address a question that was emailed to me and I love this question because it's so relevant to what is going on in our world now. And I titled this post to engage in the world or to ignore the illusion. So I'll go ahead with the question. It says on one hand, one may argue that one should not engage in the world and try to solve global problems because you risk being emotionally invested in these problems, which are just an illusion anyway, and locked up in negative emotion, perpetuating the problem at hand by focusing on it in a negative way. On the other hand, one may argue that the argument of the world being an illusion, which is not worth feeling upset about, is just an excuse not to engage in the world and tackle problems, something which is avoided because of fear of change. So either way, if you're stoically ignoring the negativity in the world, or if you engage in it to tackle the problems, one may still argue that one is influenced by or locked up in negative emotion, either the fear of change or anger and sadness because of the state of the world. So how do you tell what is true with each situation? So really, to sum it up, do we engage in the illusion of the world or do you ignore it because it is just an illusion? So what is the intuitive perspective on this or perspective in general? And I got, when I thought about this question was, it's true to some extent, this is an illusion. This is a 3D experience that we're living. We are spiritual beings living a 3D existence and all of this around us is just to help us learn life lessons and put us in situations physical and emotional to endure in order to grow and expand through experience that's what this life is all about but the challenge is even though it to some extent is an illusion we have to live within the constraints of this illusion so as i thought about this question a little deeper i heard the phrase event plus response equals the outcome and i know that's taught in a lot of businesses and things like that uh, that what whatever happens you choose your response that's the variable and the outcome is also variable depending on the response that you give so the event in this situation is the state of our world and the response is how you deal with that state of the world if you get sucked into the negativity um, negative thoughts anger all those type of things, you become negative and add negativity to the collective consciousness, which that's the outcome. If you change your response to something positive, like sending out love, sending out healing, even smiling at a person that seems like they're grumpy or having a bad day, maybe you say thank you or you hold the door, or you do some token of kindness, that puts positivity into the collective and also will elevate your own vibration and change the outcome to a more positive spin. So, when I focused on this, it isn't so much about to ignore or not ignore the negativity, but more about changing your response to have a more desired outcome. Everyone is influenced by negativity and you can't help that it's out there. So even though it's an illusion, you're still living in it. You're still living with the situation of what is going on in the world. So the real challenge is to recognize that and do something to dissipate it with something of a higher vibration. I also get it's near impossible to disengage from the world. Granted, maybe it is an illusion, but it's still there. It's still our experience. So you have to deal with it the best way that it serves in the greater good. You cannot have darkness where there's light. So every bit of positivity you give out creates a little more light in the world. So hopefully that answered the question. If you guys still have questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for uh, tuning in to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And again, uh, this is Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.